Hey guys, I uh, haven't done a video in a while, but I thought that this was gonna be video worthy. I got five blind boxes from Limited Run Games. I think it's like Limited Run Games Online or something like that. I don't know, but um, in the description down below after this video, I um, will put in links of where I got these and what they are and <clears throat> maybe if it's possible, I haven't played around with comments that much, put some photos of the games in there because I know quality wise, <clears throat> it's not that easy to see game cases. <clears throat> anyway. Limited run games. These are all PS Vita games. I already went and kind of cut the box open and everything. So um, it would be easy and I wouldn't be struggling with it on camera because that's embarrassing. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when we open our box. That's really pretty. <laughs> already in love, <laughs> right? So um, these are the blind boxes, and um, these are for PS Vita, and I do not know why PS Vita is not that popular in the States, but the PS Vita is amazing. Like, maybe it was before its time, just like the PlayStation TV was definitely, in my opinion, before its time, but they're both really awesome. The thing I like about the PS Vita is it's like a handheld console, but you can also remote play, like if you have internet connection, from your PS4, any games that you have downloaded on your PS4 or discs that are in your PS4, for those of you who are like me and don't like to download games because I like physical copies. Um, as long as it's compatible, and I think there's very few games that aren't compatible. So it's totally worth it. Especially if you have a spouse that's like taking up the TV or something like that and you really are hooked on a game, you can still remote play. Or if you're out of town, you can still remote play if you maybe left that game behind or only downloaded on your PS4. But anyway, I am going to be opening these. These are as the website says, limited run games. Um, so these games are games that some of them were released digitally or um, there was only a few of them ever made and sold. And so that's what this company does is they will um, pretty much get the authorization to do a limited run of these games and give you original artwork and all that cool stuff. So let's... Uh, go ahead and check out what we got in our first one. Oh my gosh. That looks really cool. I, you can't do that. My husband is like checking them out. So sorry if shadow came on there. So let's uh, open this up. And uh, the website does sell games. Like they'll put up a time of when they're gonna, you know, they'll say what games they're gonna be selling, they'll put up a time when that is gonna start, and usually they sell out really quick, like some of them sell out way quick. I am a YS fan, I just got done playing YS8, it's the Lacrimosa of Donna, and um, they had YS Origins on there, and I really wanted it, but it sold out before I could get to it, because I was a little late. So I decided to have fun by, by blind boxes, hoping and I'm hoping that maybe I get YS Origins in here. But here's the first one. Fallen Legion. Flames of Rebellion. This looks kind of up my alley just by looking at the artwork. The back of it looks... Oh, it looks like a card-based game. Like a deck building. So these are like... Oh, it's so hard to show you guys. See, this is what I was talking about when I said I uh, want to put pictures down there for you guys. Um, but these are released when they release them. It's for all regions, so that's cool. So you don't have to worry about, like, what region do I live in? Will this be compatible with my system? Yes, it will. That's cool. 
And um, with every blind box, you get a limited run card. So that's what all of them look like on the back. And this is what this one looks like. Isn't that cute? I am a huge anime fan. So anything anime-ish, I adore. And I adore this card. I always love how they do the eyes and the hair colors. Like, wouldn't it be cool if people were born with like violet or lavender colored eyes? I think it would be. I really do. I would, I would love to have purple eyes. <laughs> Here is my second one. Boom. Let's figure out what this is. <clears throat> I feel like I've heard of Fallen Legion before. Some of these I probably will not have heard of because PS Vita has such a vast range of games. Mm, that looks kind of neat. Like, this looks very like turn-based. Like you have a team and take turns fighting your enemies. So these are like, this is like your team, which I assume you're gonna take turns fighting the horde of enemies until somebody is defeated. <laughs> All right, let's see what our limited run card for this one is. Uh, not so cool. Maybe cool, I don't know. Kind of bland to me. See, it's not anime looking. I don't like it. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And this is my first blind box experience from this company. So if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. I just let me know what your thoughts are on this. You know, if you think I could do this a better way, because I'm sure this will not be the last time. Because this is kind of fun. Mutant Muds. I didn't even try to say the last one because I was scared that I was going to say it all wrong. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, I will totally put that down in the description. Mutant Muds Super Challenge. Look, this looks like a little Mario wannabe thing. Look, he's got a little blaster gun. I like his little glasses. That's freaking cool. Ooh, fantastic. Got a 9 out of 10. We got this covered. Holy moly, the words on the back of this are so small. This actually looks really cool. It. And the graphics look pretty good. It doesn't look good in my camera, but the graphics do look really good. Oh man, I just realized I'm showing you guys my horrible nails. I did like a gel nail thing and it lasted forever, but this week it started peeling off. It looks bad. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. So that's a card that came with that one. The next one, I have five of these, by the way. I'm pretty sure I said that, but this is the fourth one. Risk of Rain. I'm a big fan of cover art. Sometimes like cover art can be deceiving. But so far this one, I'm not a big fan of the cover art. Do, 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 do. Risk of Rain is an action platformer with randomly generated roguelike elements. With permanent death as a primary feature, players will have to play their best to get as far as possible. What does this sound like, guys? Come on. Bloodborne. <laughs> uh... You can fight on a mysterious planet with randomly spawning enemies and bosses, either alone or with three friends in online co-op. Sorry, that is my dog. I do not have a pig. I have a French bulldog, and she is, like, mad right now. She wants out, but I'm not letting her out until I'm done with this. Otherwise, she'll be... You'll hear her feet scurrying, just trying to get up in my lap. <laughs> Maybe I'll make another video and you guys can see her. You guys can let me know what you think about that. Ooh, look at that. That card's cool. I like that. 
I'm not sure if I showed you that. It's really hard to see though. It's really dark, even for me. I had the light above me on, but it just created a glare when I was setting up my camera and I did not like it. And the final one. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to look at this one first. This is cool. This is really cool. SteamWorld Dig, a fistful of dirt. I like steampunk stuff. Like Bioshock was my jam. I really loved Bioshock. I, uh, steampunk wedding, by the way. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. I mean, men in top hats and long penguin tailed coats and women in like really big fun dresses. It's so fun, you get gadgets and stuff. This is the back. Look at me, I'm trying to read it through my camera. An epic journey into the unknown. Steam World Dig is a platform, a mining adventure game with strong Metroid Vannon influences. Take the role of a rusty, of rusty, not a rusty, <laughs> of rusty, a lone mining steam bot as he arrives at an old mining town in great need. Dig your way through the old earth, gaining riches while uncovering the ancient threat that lurks below. Hmm. This actually, this sounds really fun. All right, and for our last and final card, <laughs> let's meet little aliens. Look at him. He's like, what the fuck is that thing? Ooh, my language. <laughs> Seriously, though, that's great. So, there you have it. We have five different games. This was a pretty cool, like, blind box run. I think, what were these a piece? Like, they're 25, 25 bucks a box. So, um, that's not bad. I mean, considering usually when they release new PS Vita games, they're usually like 60 bucks, which is crazy. Kind of like, you know, another game system we all know that releases like $60, $70 games that are brand new. The Switch. <laughs> So yeah, once again, um, I'm really excited about the artwork of this. Not sure I'm gonna like it, it's a card-based game. Um, this, I know I probably won't like. I don't like turn-based games, I really don't. But it's still cool, it's still a cool addition to the collection. This I think is gonna be really fun. I'm really excited about this, I'm really torn between which one to start playing first. It's this one or the steampunk one. This, I'm gonna have to put it in to get more of an idea of what it's about. <clears throat> and um, I definitely am excited for this. So yeah, that was a nice haul. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like these videos, when I get more of these, I will continue to do my unboxing with you guys. So um, subscribe and let me know and I will put all the information down below for you. So if you wanna join in on the fun at your house, then you can. All right, bye.